Assalamualaikum uh, and hi everybody. Okay, to, tonight um, we are going to discuss a kebat question from self practice 5.3 uh, at page 136. Let me read the question. The diagram on the right shows the pattern drawn at the Carterson plane. The final line on the plane is parallel to the y-axis and passes through x equals negative 10. Find the sum of the length of the overall pattern. So, we are talking about this figure. This figure, it starts at y equals 1. Okay, so if you have to be a revised little bit of syllabus form 3. Equation straight like this is called y equals 2. Equation like this is x equals 2. Something only. Right? So come back here. So um, they want you to calculate the length of the overall pattern where it stops at. Uh, x equals negative 10 for example we have negative 10 there and it stopped there okay uh, is it parallel to the y axis uh, okay the last line parallel to the y axis and passes through x equals negative 10 so it should be like this and because if we have here, um, we have here is that negative 2 goes here and then goes to up to 3. So negative 10 from that part, it will go all the way to negative, uh, go away to, should be 11 here. B eleven there. Okay, um, is it possible for us to calculate one by one? Why not? Okay, this line. Uh, what is this line? Uh, this is the, what is the length of this line? One point five. And what is the line from 1 to negative 1? It will be 2. And then from here to here, from 1.5 until negative 1. This is 1.5, this is 1. So, 2.5. From here to here, it will be... 3 so um, you can see the pattern 1.5 2 2.5 3 so you have only already 1 okay uh, 1.5 2 2.5 3 and then from negative 1 until 2.5 because the length here is 2.5 and the length here is 1 okay so we have let's say we talk about this is something like a box okay so the second round we write down here it will be 3 2.5 sorry 3 here and then 3.5 3.5 it will go here and then it will go to 4 and then it will go to 4 here and then from 2.5 until 2 it will be 4.5 and then from negative 2 until here it will go to 5 so um 
how many will be that be? Okay, so that is the issue. How many of these? So it will start from here. We do not know when would it stop. When is it? It will stop. Okay, so we can figure out like this. Okay, so in order to know that, what I'll do is that let me check on the x equals 10 negative 10 is here where is it so i if something is not possible for me to keep doing it so I need to do something else. Unless you want to draw, that's okay. But uh, I decided to do something else to it. So I do not want to continue this drawing because I don't think that my whiteboard will be enough. So let's talk about the first line here is... Uh, y equals 1 this is y equals 1 and then this is x equals 1.5 then this is y equals negative 1 And then, this is x equals negative 1. The next one will be here, the arrangement. Right? So, I have x equal to negative 1. Then, I have y equals 2. Then it will be x equals 2.5. Then this one will be y equals negative 2. The length here will be 5. And uh, the equation is x equals negative 2. Okay, can you see the pattern? Okay, the first one is y equals 2. And here is y equals 2. Oh, sorry, this is y equals 1. And then y equals 2. x equals 1.5. Here, x equals 2.5. y equals negative 1. y equals negative 2. x equals negative 1 x equals negative 2. Do you think you have found anything? This is a long story. Okay. So take note, you have to read again this question. The end of the line is x equals negative 10. So the line will end here x equals negative 10. Okay? So, what we can do is that we can do arrangement of this part, arrangement of this part, arrangement of this part, and arrangement of this part. Because the end here, there are 10 numbers here x equals negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. 10. So it means this also have 10, this also have 10 numbers, and this also have 10 numbers. So all together, we can figure out there are 40 numbers. Okay? So you can, uh, let's say, 
we can rearrange it. Okay, the first one here is 1.5 and then 3.5 and then difference of 2, it will be 5.5. Similarly, on the second line, we have 2 and then we have 4, we have 6. Then we have 2.5, we have 4.5, we have uh, 6.5, we have 3, we have 5, and we have 7. And it will continue. So since I know this line has 10 numbers, 10 numbers here, so it means there are 10 numbers here, 10 numbers here, and 10 numbers here. Okay, so there are two ways you can do. You calculate S10 from this arrangement. You calculate S10 from this arrangement. S10 also, S10, and you add all. Okay, that is one option. The other option is that, okay, okay, again, the first option just now, S10, A will be 1.5, and make sure the D is 2. Similarly with this, but A is 2, D is 2, here A is 2.5, D is 2, here uh, A is 3, D is 2 also. Or, you add all these numbers. The arrangement will start with 1.5, 2. 2.5, 3. 3.5, 4. 4.5, 5. And so on. In this case, there are 40 numbers. So, we calculate. S4, T is 40 over 2. 2, A. A is 1.5 plus uh, in the bracket is N minus 1. So 40 minus 1 will be 39 times D. D in this case is because this is first number, this is the second number, 2 minus 1.5 will be 0 0.5. So you have 10 here, you have 3 here. And then you have uh, 19.5 here. So 10 times uh, we have here 20. Oh, sorry. It's not 10, but 20. 20. Uh, and then here is 22.5. So the total 20 times 22.5, it will be 450. Okay, so I check the textbook. It says the answer is 451. Uh, for the time being, I stick to my this answer until I discover something else. Alright, thank you. Bye.